All right, guys, my Creighton 8S versus my Outcast 8S. I'm calling them mine because neither of them are stock. They're both powered by 800 kV castle, but they're geared differently with different ESCs. This one has an M2C chassis, and well, I'm just going to show you on the table, and then we're going to get it outside. Take a look. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Creighton, the long wheelbase guy right here. This is the V2. Now, it is set up with an XLX2, 800 kV motor, stock spur, 45 tooth pinion gear, stock steering. It's got lots of nice, beautiful Vitavon on it, front and back. So, yeah, um, like I say, stock chassis. Um, that's basically kind of it with the Proline tires. The Outcast, as I call it, if you guys follow the channel, you'll know this used to be a Creighton. And this has quite a bit more Vitavon. Got the Vitavon hubs, Vitavon bulkheads, Vitavon knuckles. You can see all this stuff. And a lot of it is absolutely necessary. Now this has the M2C Crusher chassis, the M2C motor mount. And uh, pretty much that's it. Now, although it does have an 800 kV motor, it's running a 43 tooth spur pinion gear and a smaller Castle Monster X ESC. I do got to say, in my experience, the XLX2 is just capable of a lot more amps. But you got to watch your motor with this one. This one right here seems to be quite a bit more durable, but it doesn't quite get the amps out. But regardless, both of these are phenomenal. I'm going to swap the tires around and put the lockup X's on the back of here and the Pro Lines up here to try to eliminate any traction issues between the Proline Badlands or the lockup X's. Try to eliminate that. As far as power goes, I'm using these in both trucks because I have two complete sets of them. All the batteries are good and this can eliminate the power difference because I don't have two sets of these or two sets of these. And on my tester, this right here, obviously a larger battery, does have more output than this one. So I mean, it's just kind of obvious, you know, with the numbers, but that would make things a little bit unfair. So to try to even up the playing field, we're running the same batteries. They are uh, the best $40 battery on the market, but they are not as strong as the ones in the middle. Okay, we're gonna do a quick speed run test with these, just to see, ooh, I like the smooth, just to see what they are. now. I like to do my speed runs in the grass. I know some guys prefer them on asphalt, but if you got an off-road truck, why not do your speed runs off-road? To me, it's more accurate. Unless, of course, you just really on-road your truck a lot. All right, let's see what we got here. Point two. Yeah, that's kind of slow. But I really, I don't really push my vehicle for maximum speed. But I know some of you guys do. If the Creighton can get faster than a slow 50. And I would like to have a little bit more than that. So we are all set up. And hey, let's give it a run. <laughs> Looks good. That was a pretty good flat out run right there. Let's see what we got. Fifty three point four. So 45 tooth king versus 43 tooth gives you a few more miles per hour. Who would have guessed, huh? <laughs> First up, donuts. Now we do know the crate is a little bit faster, so, but it's also longer. Will it make a difference? Let's find out. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, not quite. Okay, outcast, let's see what you got. A little bit better. Oh yeah. Donuts go to the outcast. They got them just a little bit better. Standing backflip. I don't think either of these trucks are gonna be able to get this, but let's find out. Nah. And let's see what we got here. <laughs> it didn't even come up. I gotta admit, a long wheelbase kind of hurts it on that one. Short wheelbase, absolute benefit to that. Up next is the long jump. And it's a long jump because they have really messed up our launch area. But anyway, try to hit it three times as best I can. <laughs> that was not even close. All right, we're gonna get a mark on that. That stick is with the Creighton. We're gonna hit it two more times just to make sure that's the farthest jump. Jump number two. Ooh, went a little bit further on that one. Overall, about five feet further. That's a good jump. One final jump. Ah, about two feet shorter. So, the stick, right out there is the actual long jump that I've got with the crate. All right, little Creighton. I gotta find a way to weigh these things. I think this Creighton or this uh, Outcast is actually heavier. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, it's about three foot too short. And let's see what we got here. Ah, let's go look at that. This is where it hit. There's the stick. So Creighton's about two feet past this. One more shot. The last shot with the outcast. Okay, I think we got it that time. Well, so with the angle of the jump and all figured in, uh, it may be a couple inches on the Creighton, but when you're looking at a jump like that, I would say these two are even on the on the jump. Absolutely. And for this part, we're going to launch right there, try to get a backflip and land over there. Just straight full throttle launch. Nope. One more time just to make sure. <laughs> no. Now let's see what the Creighton's got. Full on launch just like with the Outcast. <laughs> no. But it sure went further. One more try just to make sure. Well, a little better. Got to give it to the crate for that one. Here we have the sail jump. This can go really good or really bad. Not really sure what the contest is here, but let's see if they survive. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna mark that distance. That was a good jump. I've got it marked and a smart guy would know when to quit, but I just wanna try it again. Boom, almost the exact same spot. So that mark will stay. Okay, little outcast, your turn. Oh my God. See, that's one of the things that can go wrong. Looks like all I did was push the body in. There we go. Let's go hit that again. Since that first jump was a flub, we're not even gonna count it. Almost exactly where the Creighton landed. That's where the Outcast landed. The Creighton is about uh, maybe three feet further. And the final jump. Oh, 
It somehow survived that. Okay, we'll run that one again. I didn't even hit the jump right. All right, here we go. Okay, this one goes to the Creighton. I was really impressed that this thing survived that. That was, uh, that was a good hit. Since they're both still running and uh, batteries seem to be holding up, I haven't got a full backflip. So we're gonna try to hit this jump and land out there. Outcast is up first. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, kind of stuffed it a little bit, but we'll try it again. Oh! <laughs> if I can land it right there. That'll be cool. That was a good one. Okay. Pretty much I got three backflips with the outcast. Did get three with the outcast. All right. There's one. Getting better backflips with the Outcast. I mean, the uh, Creighton. Oh. Just for the heck of it, one last jump. That was worthy. Well guys, so what do you think? Now, on the speed test, well, the bigger pinion got that. On the donuts, this guy got that one. When I was trying to do the standing backflip, well, this one stood up a little bit easier. Shorter wheelbase, right? Now, on the first long jump out there, um, it ended up they were so close that I just call that one a draw. So, and then when I was trying to do the short run up, trying to backflip across it, neither one of them got that. And I got a feeling that had a little bit to do with the batteries not quite having the punch of the big batteries and maybe not really as much traction. It was a little drier out there than it usually is. So then you had the big leap of faith, uh, the big sail jump. You hit that right, you get out there, what you guys saw, hit it wrong, you don't make it too far. I'm surprised this thing kept driving. I really am. Um, I'm happy with how that thing survived. That was a pretty bad landing. So, um, got to give it to this one. It was, what, just a few feet further. So, not much, but did get a little bit further with this. Now, we finished it up with the back flips over the little spiky hill, dirt hill there. And I got to tell you, I kind of think uh, this one was easier to get the back flips. And that's kind of odd because this one being shorter, should have been able to get it. However, Maybe that was the XLX2 getting more power to the motor to zip it over easier than this one. So the final count, well, that's up to you guys because it was very close all the way around. It's a judgment call. Comment down below which one you think won. And as far as the overall weight, I just stood on the scale. I'm not telling you how much I weigh. It's kind of up there. But uh, I had both of them. And they both actually weighed out the same. Uh, maybe my scale has a limit. But anyway, uh, just this one does feel heavier. Maybe because it's a little bit shorter, it just feels a little more solid. But either way, the weight seems to be about the same. So anyway, guys, comment down below who you thought got the win. And check that description because you guys know I've got the links in there for both trucks, the tires, the motors, the ESCs, all of that is down in that description. So if you want to build one of these, hey, so easy. Click, boom, done. So guys, check that description. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button. You know, tap that thing. And uh, guys, thank you all for watching.
If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you really like it, ring that bell so you get all the new content when it comes on out. Now, uh, starting up very soon, I'm going to start a giveaway for all channel members and it is going to be monthly. It will be a giveaway, simple, easy payment way to double your return on your subscription fees. So yeah, you might want to check that out. Guys, thank you all for watching.